Hello everybody, I'm Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Harry Potter review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 76385, Hogwarts Moment Charms Class. This set includes 256 pieces and retails for $29.99 when it came out back on January 1st of 2021. Now this is the last of the four Hogwarts Moment sets that I have yet to review, so you guys can check out reviews for the other three, link in the description below. I will be doing a collection video featuring all of them very, very soon. So getting right into this and taking a look at the box art, we do get your logos up at the top, regular stuff off the side, minifigures at the bottom, and then our open look at the classroom down there along with your animated box art front and center. Turning this box to the side so then we can take a look at the interior of the classroom. This is probably one of the more accurate looking interiors for the Harry Potter classroom set, so that's one thing that I did want to point out right off the bat since it does look really, really nice right there. You do get all of your other books advertised at the top right there, which you guys can check out reviews for them, like I said. From the very top of the box right here, we do get the actual size of your year two Professor Flitwick, or at least your one through two Professor Flitwick right there. Sides of the box feature some more animated looks at your characters, your logos, and your choking hazards and Lego Life advertisements and stuff like that. Very bottom of the box features your Lego trademarks and the barcode for this set. So yeah, that's all for the box, so let's open this up and take a look at the box contents. Looking at the box contents, we get a total of two numbered bags to build this set, in addition to the loose pieces for the main frame of the book. We also do get our instructions and sticker sheet, let's take a quick look at those. Taking a quick look at the sticker sheet, we get these two really nice stickers from the very top that feature the names of all these different charms, which I just think it's pretty crazy that LEGO put all of that work into that and it's just really super cool just looking at some of the things that you can see referenced within this sticker sheet, which I'll talk more about later in the video, but we also do get your regular like windows from the very back, which is accurate right there, and then you get your chalkboards and some more charms, books, and stuff going on for this room. As for the instructions, we pretty much mimic the front of the box, QR code at the bottom from the front, very back features your win guy, and you should see the same stuff, the piece count, for two pages right there, leading to an advertisement of the 2020 Summer Wave, advertisement for all of these sets, leading to the final overall model for this set. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the instructions, so let's take a look at our minifigures and the final overall model. For the very first time in LEGO form, we have the Year 1 slash 2 version of Professor Flitwick. Now when it comes to this minifigure, the design is decent. We do get a new white beard recolor right there from the Hobbit theme, which I think is very interesting for the character. We do get a new double-sided torso print, and we only get the print from the very front of the face. I will remove the beard to take a better look at both of those in a second. I do really like seeing the olive green color for this minifigure, light flesh hands, and one accessory being the wand in that brown color. But the color of the legs, I don't know if that's accurate or not. You know, the print I'm still a little confused about. I think that they probably could have done a little bit better on this character. And also, I think that this character is missing a hat. I think that would have been very nice. And also, the beard, I think, could have been the regular Santa Claus beard that they started using with the collectible minifigures line. So look forward to me messing around with his character and the collection video. But otherwise, removing that beard. Here's a better look at the front torso printing and the facial expression for this character. Facial expression is rather interesting, at least in my opinion. And then there's a better look at the back printing for this character. So yeah, that's all for year one slash two Professor Flitwick. Of course, we had to get the boy who lived himself in at least one of these Hogwarts moment sets. We have Harry Potter, who does reuse the same head and hairpiece that we saw back in 2018, though we get the new Gryffindor Hogwarts torso piece that was introduced in the Hogwarts moment line with Ron, Hermione, and Seamus Finnegan, so that's pretty nice that we did get it in three sets, but I still think that they could have given us a Hufflepuff one. That would be very nice. It's the one that I think is really missing from the this lineup. Hopefully we'll see it in the future. We do get some back printing for his character in addition. And then like I said, same double-sided facial expression with the smirk from the front. Take off his hair piece. You can take a look at the other facial expression where he looks a little bit more frightened. So yeah, that's all for our minifigure of Harry Potter. 
And then finally, we have a year one slash two version of Cho Chang, which we didn't really hear from her until year three. So this is just a weird sighting inside this set. But either way, we do get these short legs to represent a year one slash two character. And then we get the new Hogwarts robe piece, but for Ravenclaw, which I do really love getting that right there. You can take off her hair piece to take a better look at that which I think is just really nice that we did get three of the four houses and also we still have the problem with the flesh tone not being accurate to the source material which is just rather disappointing for this character and then we do get a double-sided facial expression as well as back printing there's another look at that facial expression and this facial expression is new to this version of Cho Chang since it does show a more younger version of her character for some reason that didn't really exist but you know still exist if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's pretty much all for Cho Chang, uses the same hairpiece that we got in the CMF Series 1. Taking a look at the final overall model for the Charms Classroom, we do get a lot of extra accessories around here to look at, and some things that I just have to question. So starting off from the very side over here, we do get two desk areas and two sitting areas for this set, which we do get the jumper plates just because we have the short legs for these characters. But we do get some interesting accessories in this set. Two of those accessories being a tea glass and a cookie, so I'm confused. Why are those here unless they're doing charms on them to make them float? I guess that could be the answer to that question, but you know, I just don't know why those are included. Also with our minifigure of Cho Chang over here, we have to get a new book print, so let's take a look and see what's inside. Let's open up the book and, oh wait, it's the Wingardium Leviosa spell. I would have really hoped that they do something different in this set instead of Wingardium Leviosa. You know, it is fine since this is a year one slash two version of Flitwick, that's probably the bonus of getting this particular scene since it actually makes sense to include this but you know would have liked to see something different. I probably wouldn't mind even if they did age up the characters in the set compared to the other sets that we get but you know still it's just you know my only complaint with this set is that it's another Wingardium Leviosa book because I would have liked to see another new print but you know it's fine you know really the minifigures and the build for the classroom and the setting is really what you got in this set that makes it worth it. So we're moving our minifigure of Cho Chang, we might as well look at these desks. We do get two different builds, so then we make sure that the jumper plate is facing you when you actually place these desks down. Right there we do get a little space where you can see like your character's legs, which I do really like how they use the building on the side with those wall element pieces. You can take a look from the other side of how that looks. And then you do get one of these longer brick pieces right there in brown, those are pretty nice to get. Two pretty similar builds for that. And then when it comes to these, we do get the jumper plates all across one of these 2x6 plate pieces in dark brown. And then when it comes to storing these, you can place these on the very top. You have the jumper plate from the top of that, where you can place this piece just so then it forms an L shape. You do the same thing with the other build, you just place that right on top. We also do get another treasure chest just like we do in the Transfiguration Classroom and when you open this up you have two feathers to use your wands and make them fly so that's pretty nice as a nice reference to the Wingardium Leviosa spell so that's pretty much all that I have to say for that. It's a good reference. We also have this small little cabinet build which also uses these hinge pieces from the side so then you can actually open this up to reveal some contents where we have a key which you know that's pretty nice to get you can probably unlock something with that not sure what that goes to and then we get a goblet piece inside that more silver color but still you know it's pretty nice how they have that system where you can actually lock that up using the hinge pieces and yeah that's all that I have to say you can see it from both sides using the window panes and now the final build that I'm most proud of LEGO including is that we have all these books for Professor Flitwick to stand on. So that's, I, ju I just think that's really nice that they did include that as a small little reference. We do get the jumper plates so then he can place his character right there on top since he has these short legs. We get two stickers from both the front and back of these wall element pieces with some books just to show that he's standing on some books. We also do get this little attachment right here to the side. I'm not really too sure what this is supposed to be, but we get a little box which is inside that nougat color you know you can put something in there you can even put I guess the teacup and also the cookie in there just as some easy storage well the teacup doesn't fit in there at least the cookie does so we'll just plop that right in there we'll put that other piece in the treasure chest in a minute but either way you know it's a nice build it's a nice reference that's really all that I have to say for this 
And now finally taking a look at the book contents, we do get some building on the side for both sides as well as the center area. So taking a look from this side, we do get a entryway to the classroom, which I do really like. We get some candle pieces right there that were introduced back in 2018. Some stickers on those wall elements for some more books. Another sticker down there. We do get some more stickers from the other side where we have some more books on that side and we also do get a letter piece another printed piece which is pretty nice to see we get the sticker for the chalkboard which is explaining the wingardium leviosa spell so that's pretty nice to see we have another sticker from the very top of the fireplace with the ravenclaw emblem i guess right there you can pretend that that's an eagle that's what it sort of looks like but you know very cool to see a small little fireplace if you just want to have that as a small little thing going on off to the side and i do like the building style and how that looks in general we get another one of those candles off to the side and from there you can actually close both of these and you can still sort of see everything with this all closed up which I do really like as well. From the very center we do get another cabinet area just like we see in the Transfiguration classroom. There is nothing in there. You can pretend that the key goes to this if you want to. That's another thing that you can do. We have some small little drawers I guess or just some more jumper plates going on. And then we have the windows which is a main feature from the very back of the Charms classroom at least from years one and two so that's pretty nice to see that. That's a sticker on a window pane from the very back. And then we also do get some smaller little details from the very top, which, you know, I'll show more in detail when we actually close this up with everything inside it. And now the thing that I did want to talk about, which is just one of the more interesting things that LEGO included in this set, is the fact that we have all of these different charms listed right here. I just think it's pretty crazy how like they listed all of these different charms. You can see some like Alor Hamora, Petrificus Totalis, that's also a very interesting one. And then if that wasn't enough, we have some different spells. Well, some of the some, some of the same are also listed over here, but we have some different spells listed over here, which I just think it's crazy like all these little small little references like different jinxes and stuff different charms overall in general, in addition to this small little Ravenclaw flag just for some more Ravenclaw pride. So placing this all the way back, you can fold these in using the hinge pieces like I mentioned before, but you can store everything else in this area. So first of all, we're going to put Professor Flitwick's books right here up on the top. We can also plop in this treasure chest right there. We can put this cabinet right between these two one by one circular tiles right there. Just a nice little spot just so then you know where it goes. Now you want to make sure that you get this right when it comes to the placement of these because you want to make sure that the wall elements are facing outwards. Also to make sure that you don't see any holes when it comes to placing these within the corners over here so you just want to make sure that that is facing the correct way. And then when you close this up you'll see that all the jumper plates are on the very top and you also do not have any cracks from the side of the book. And also just like some of the other books we have a more brown interior instead of tan which is my only real complaint from that point. But there's the very front of the book. When it comes to the front of the book, we do get a very nice print from the front with the Hogwarts crest and some other little details to showcase that this is the Charms book. Some more of those macaroni tile pieces inside that yellowish orange color. Very nice to see more of those here. And we have more of a sand blue color for this book, which I do really like seeing sand blue. Just how I like seeing sand green, so that's pretty nice. And then from the very back, we do get some more of these right here, which allow you to connect this book to the other Hogwarts moment sets, which I will be doing in a future video, so look forward to that. And then finally, we have this sticker from the spine of the book to showcase that this is the Charms Classroom. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the book. And just like the other ones, you can plop your characters on the very top if you so desire. So overall, for $30, I think that this set is worth it, though some of the minifigures are a little lackluster. I think they could have done a better job with Professor Flitwick from years 1 through 2, though, you know, it's still a fine addition to my collection. The Harry Potter minifigure isn't really anything special other than the torso piece, and the Cho Chang minifigure is, I guess, the placeholder that they put in for a Ravenclaw character. I would have really liked to see a different member from Ravenclaw other than Cho Chang, since this version of Cho Chang didn't really appear in the books or the films though you know she was still there though we never heard about her I don't like how we didn't get a new print in this set for the book that's my only other complaint but you know I the overall classroom setting does fit the style of that book which I do really appreciate that 
and even the fact that we got a gear 1 slash 2 Flitwick is something really amazing to think about and the overall layout of this classroom is probably one of the more accurate layouts that we got in this wave of Hogwarts moment sets. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!